Saluton, and welcome to Esperanto Explained. Today, we'll be talking about compound words. Just like in a lot of other languages, Esperanto can create compound words, where you take two other smaller words and you squish them together to make a new word. That means something kind of like both of those. For example, tag manjo takes tago, day, and manjo, eating, to mean tag manjo, a meal in the middle of the day. You may have noticed that even though if I were saying this separately, it might have been something like taga manjo, like a day meal, but when I squish them together to make one word, you leave off that grammatical ending for the word that forms the first half. The only time this wouldn't be true is in some cases the consonants at the end of one word and the consonants at the beginning of the next word just make it too hard to fit together right. It doesn't flow right when you say it out loud. So in some cases, we'll tack an O onto the sort of in-between part for the two words. That doesn't mean the first word is a noun and the second word is a noun. It just means that you stuck an O in the middle to make it a little bit easier to say. So that's how you make compound words in Esperanto. Compound words actually can make up a lot of the vocabulary in Esperanto, just like making new words out of an old word root and a prefix or a suffix makes up a lot of the vocabulary. So does compound words, because why would we make up a whole new word for something when you can just squish two words that you already know together? It's part of the effort to make Esperanto easier to learn. So, now you know about compound words in Esperanto. Gis revido!